So here is a comparison of Affinity Photo and Helicon Focus. When doing focus shift merging of 30 frames from a Nikon Z7 using a Nikon Z70-200 2.8 lens. I set the focus shift settings in Nikon's firmware to 30 frames at a step size of 1. I configured it to use silent shutter, electronic shutter, so there'd be no mirror slap whatsoever. And I set a 3 second shutter delay, exposure delay, so that there would be plenty of time for vibration settlement after the shutter opens, uh, after the mirror flips up. So in this uh, view here, I have the resulting TIFF files from the RAW files. I took the RAW files into Capture 121 14.2, processed them to TIFF, and then sent the same TIFF files to Affinity Photo for a focus merge document and used the Helicon Focus Capture One plugin to send the same TIFF files to Helicon Focus, which I've just downloaded a trial for uh, from their website. So here we have the resulting uh, output from those uh, products. And I'm going to zoom in to 100% on each of them. I'm going to go to full screen mode. I'm going to set the viewer uh, option so you can see the labels. Now you can see the underneath is the name of the file. So you see the right is stacked Helicon, the left is stacked Affinity. And I have done no retouching in the uh, stacked uh, Affinity. And I did just a tiny bit of retouching in the stacked Helicon inside what Helicon Focus allows you to retouch. So I'm going to hold down the Shift key and use my mouse key to pan around so that we can see both images uh, very close up. Again, this is 100% view, so you can see how close they are. One thing I notice, if you see a little halo right here, there's a little ghosting around some of these objects in Affinity Photo. Uh, but there's also a little ghosting around these objects in Helicon Focus. What I do notice is the ghosting is slightly, I don't know if it's slightly more or less visible in Affinity Photo. It's a, it, the kind of ghosting is a little different. I think it's a little less obvious in Helicon than it is in Affinity Photo. Uh, but I feel confident if I went back with the little healing brushes they give you in both products that I could get rid of that. So I'll just pan around a little bit so we can see uh, this. One thing I do notice is I think that uh, Affinity Photo did a little better job of selecting source layers for this section here. Uh, this looks a little sharper in this area than it does in the Helicon Focus. And then again, over in this area, it looks a little sharper in Affinity than Helicon Focus. But this could be subjective, could just be my eyes. And if we go through just panning around the image here, again, we're at 100% resolution on both of them, 100% zoom. One thing I do notice, if I look at the background, I see a little more noise in the Helicon Focus than I do in the Affinity Photo. So I do actually find that more pleasing. I feel like um, Affinity Photo has done a better job of preserving a blurred background. I don't know how they, uh, what, you know, I don't know what they use to determine that and how they measure that to select that. Uh, I do feel like both of these products have done a stellar job in blending these 30 frames and it did take a little longer for it to process in Affinity Photo, but I don't think you could be dissatisfied with either product. Both of them do an exceptional job, and 
here you can see maybe there's a little bit more sharpness in this area right here. Yeah, it's hard to say. Both of them are pretty sharp in this area. So they're they're really impressive, I have to say. Both products did a really, really good job. Uh, this may be maybe a tad better selection here in uh, Affinity Photo, and maybe a tad softer in Helicon Focus. But again, both products let you pan around the image and make corrections. So I think in the end, you would produce uh, a very pleasing, uh, comparable result with, with each product. And you know, when you zoom out and you look at them like this, the little bits that I was examining very closely really don't even, you can't even tell. Um, I do feel like a, the Helicon Focus seems to be applying some kind of sharpening that I actually don't like. It feels a little too sharp. And I feel the edges look just a, a, a little smoother and more pleasing and realistic in the Affinity Photo Focus Merge. But again, that's kind of personal preference, subjective. I don't think you could go wrong with either product. I think they're both exceptional. Uh, the one nice feature I do really like about the Helicon Focus is they do have a plug-in for Capture One and it gives you the option to throw away the intermediate TIFF files that it creates. Uh, what I don't like is if you take the raw files and send them directly to the Helicon Focus and it creates the intermediate TIFF files, for some reason it adds a bunch of contrast to them that makes no sense whatsoever. If I create the TIFF files directly in Capture One manually and then send the same TIFF files to both products, then I get pretty much the same output. So this is the comparison. Thanks for looking. Hope this has been helpful for you. It certainly was eye-opening for me, uh, given that the lifetime subscription for Helicon Focus is $200 US, and Affinity Photo has been on sale half price for $29.99 uh, during the entire pandemic. I have to say, uh, other than the smoother integration for Helicon Focus, I really don't see the benefit of paying the extra price for it. It's just, uh, Affinity Photo just does such a stellar job that I just don't see worth paying the extra price for Helicon Focus for myself. Others may uh, have a different experience. This is only based on uh, doing one set of images for a focus merge. If I did different images with different subjects, different types of contrast, I might find a different result. Uh, your result may vary, but this is my, my own opinion, and that's my opinion. I think Affinity Photo does a great job, and I don't think Helicon Focus uh, does such a much better job that it's worth $200 US versus the $30 US I can spend while Affinity Photo is half price. Even at full price of $60, Affinity Photo seems like a really, really good deal and does a stellar job. Thanks for paying attention to this. I appreciate it. If you'd like to buy me a coffee, buymeacoffee.com slash Walter Rowe. I appreciate that. Always uh, happy to have donations. Uh, that helps me keep the content coming. Talk to you later.